actually going to be something a little bit different because I'm going to be talking about some organic products that I just recently had the chance of trying. Now these are from an Etsy shop and I have my friend Stephanie to thank for all of this from stephaniesLook.com. I'll have her link down below. I've talked about her a million times, but she's actually the one who got me hooked on the Tarte Cheek Stain. And as much as I love that stuff, that stuff is like $30 a tube, which is crazy, but it is really, really nice. But she got wind of a girl on Etsy named Malia. And hi, Malia, if you're watching this, thank you so much for letting me do this. But she claims to have a dupe for that Tarte Cheek Stain. So when Stephanie reached out to her, she recommended I do the same because she was so, so nice to work with. And Malia sent me four products to review for you. Now, obviously, one of them is the Cheek Stain, which is the one that I'm going to be getting into first. But if you want more information of the actual ingredients of these products, I'm going to be just telling you pretty much my experiences with them, as well as the prices. And then at the end, she gave me a wonderful coupon code. But like I was saying, I'm going to have close-up pictures and more descriptive things over on my blog, as well as a little interview I did with her. She was so, so wonderful and lovely to work with. I swear I bombed her with so many questions, and she was so nice to answer them all. So let's get into the review. So sorry if you see me looking at my phone, I actually have her Etsy shop pulled up on here. Her name is Malia Rhodes if you're searching for her and her store is called BE Bathworks. Now she offers a lot of products. She offers some makeup and some skincare, but most of them are 100% natural or organic products. But I actually want to go ahead and jump into the cheek stain or the cheek tint. She calls it a bunch of different things. Sorry, I was holding it upside down there. But I really, really have loved this. She, I think, has a few different colors. This one seems to be the darker one of the two. I don't see any distinct names on here, but I love the packaging for one. It just comes in this pretty simple plastic container and then this lid pops off with a really cute logo on the front. And like I said, I've really been liking this and as far as the Tarte ones go, I definitely think this is a great option. I can't call it an exact dupe because I don't own a color in Tarte's line that's similar to this because this is a little bit darker and rosier. I'm going to go ahead and smooth out this swatch that I have on the back of my hand, but I do have have it on my cheeks right now and I will demo it for you but this is a nice rosy color it's a little bit of a more dark rose and I don't typically wear colors like these that are this dark on my cheeks but I have really grown to love it the formula is incredible I think this is even more moisturizing than the one from Tarte and this one is only gonna run you about $12 Tarte like I said in the intro is like 30 so this is a great option if you're looking to get into cheek stains or tints and you don't want to pay the high price of the Tarte one this one is so so moisturizing it blends so so well and I think for this product you have to have that elf stipple brush it also has a nice dewy finish and I don't know if you can see that in the swatch on my hand I think it's picking up a little bit but it has an amazing sheen to it and I think that's perfect for summer I want to touch on the scent because I think that's what a lot of people think of when they think of organic products they think they don't smell very good and I will be honest with you guys this was a little bit of a shock to me because it doesn't smell like anything I really smelled before and I don't really in mind those real organic and kind of herbal scents but at first this did not smell very good to me I'm going to be completely honest and the lip tint actually smells exactly the same but as I've been using this I have gotten used to it and to me it kind of smells a little bit fruity almost like a fruit roll-up but not as sweet so at first the scent was a little bit like oh do I really like this but now it's not a problem at all as for the lip tint, you actually get one of these when you purchase the cheek tint. So all in that $12, you're getting one of those and also one of these. And I think this almost ties for how much I've loved that cheek stain. This is like right up there with one of my favorite things that I did receive from her. So on here, it just says be cheeky. And this is the organic cheek color. But as you can see, it's in more of like a lip product form. This does also have that dewy finish and really nice shine on the lips. I really think this is wonderful. I think the color is a little bit warm again like the blush but I really like it on my lips and I've been wearing it a ton as for the formula I couldn't be more happy it's so so moisturizing and it really glides on the lips and when you actually put this on your hand it's a really nice thin formula that is super super hydrating and I know that with a lot of the balms in stores they tend to be a little on the thick side and I really do like that because I think it provides a little bit more color but this is so thin that it keeps my lips moisturized for so much longer than those drugstore formulas but both of these products are very natural looking and for summer you can never go wrong with looking a little bit more natural with the colors you put on your face and the formulas are great and if you're looking for more organic products or you want to incorporate maybe something like me where I wasn't super familiar with them 
these would be a wonderful place to start. I wanted to say one more thing about these before moving on to the next product, and that's the fact that you get both of these for 12 bucks. Seriously, guys, you cannot go wrong with these because these are going to last you a lifetime. But also, I love how they complement each other because a lot of times I like matching my cheeks to my lips or at least having a coordinating color. And when you buy this set, you never have to worry about that. Now the next thing that I just quickly wanted to touch on were these single note perfumes and on her site she actually offers four of these for about eight dollars. So I got Lotus Blossom and Violetta I believe and even though these are a little bit small and they don't have the sprayer which I normally like, they smell fantastic. I cannot explain to you how wonderful these smell and it's probably just because I'm a floral girl but these really appealed to me but I just really haven't worn them as much as I would have liked to because they're not in spray form. But I'm assuming all four of the notes are somewhat floral and I love the idea that they're single notes because you can mix them together and just really experiment with your perfume. I don't do that a whole lot but you guys know I love me some floral scents so I was really pleased to get those as well. The last thing I want to touch on is a little more skincare related and this is her organic cleansing oil. Now I do have a lot to say about this. This is probably the one thing that I couldn't really make up my mind on at first because the only thing I have this to compare to is my Josie Moran Argan Oil. I almost forgot what that stuff was called but that's really the oil that I'm most familiar with so when I'm talking about this I'm really comparing it to that one. And as we all know that Josie Moran one is high end so it is pretty pricey but you're going to get a pretty big bottle of this from Malia for about 20 bucks. Now there are definitely things that I like about this and some things that I don't like so much. The first thing that I did notice was that this is a little bit thick. This is actually a lot more thick than the Josie brand Argan Oil and on her site and even on the back of this I think it says to rub about 5 to 8 drops into your skin and then actually remove it with a washcloth. I had never done that with my Josie Moran Argan Oil because that's more of a moisturizing oil so I guess I'm a little bit unfamiliar with these cleansing ones but like I said it was just a little bit thick and I felt myself using probably close to 8 drops rather than 5 because I felt like I needed a little bit more to get all over my face. But what I did love about this is that she says to remove it with a warm wet washcloth and I thought that was so darn relaxing but the only bad thing is that I probably didn't reach for this as much because in my bathroom I don't keep keep a lot of washcloths. I only have a towel that I use to dry off my face so I really didn't lean towards this because I didn't want to have to go all the way into the kitchen and get a washcloth. I know that's terrible but it was very relaxing on the days that I did use this and I did really feel like it removed my makeup wonderfully. Like I keep saying the one big thing with this is that this is a skincare product and I totally feel like certain things are good for your skin and certain things aren't and I feel like some of the products that are so well known use maybe some products that aren't so good for your skin so looking on the back of this there's apricot kernel oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, just things that you've either known about or heard of before and I think that's fantastic. Now this is great for obvious reasons for people with dry skin like myself because it is very moisturizing because of all of the oil elements but for people with oily skin I don't think you should be scared of this because you're just using it to remove your makeup, you're not leaving it on your skin for a very long time and with that Josie Moran Argan Oil I heard a ton of people with oily skin having great results with that. I really hope you guys enjoyed my very first organic product review on this channel and hopefully there are many more to come very soon. But getting onto that coupon code, Malia was more than gracious when she came up with this guys. If you use the coupon code LACY14, it will save you 15% on your order through October 31st. And before you go, please make sure to click that first link down below in the description box. I'm going to also annotate it somewhere around right here, but that's going to take you over to my blog post featuring all of these products with links and everything. And also over there I'll feature her little interview that I did. It's only five questions long, but I really, really felt like her answers were awesome. I loved hearing her story and just a little bit of background about why she wanted to start doing this. And I also asked her what her favorite beauty product at the moment is. So please, please go check that out. I'm so excited for you guys to read it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!